Hollywood music icon, selling over 75 million records worldwide. She's also starred on Broadway in movies and in her own sitcom. Please welcome the one and only, the queen of country, Miss Reba McIntyre! We met before, right? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. It was at... I want to say Brooks and Dunn concert. Yeah. Concert. Yeah. When we were. This is when I first got to meet you, right here. We were babies back oh, then. Oh my God. Yeah. I, it was good to see you there. I was like, that, I felt like that was my first time going into the country world, and being able to meet you. Thank was you. Unreal. It was an awesome experience. So. Whew. Ah, okay. <laughs> I mean, you are like a pioneer for women in music in TV, in film, in business. It goes on and on. It's incredible. Well, you're not doing so bad yourself, you <laughs> Am know? Am I what? doing okay? You're doing okay. Okay. <laughs> well, well you, you, you've opened it up for all of us. You've been a great leader and have inspired us all. It's, again, it's amazing. Thank you. Um, you know, what's really important is to do pay homage to the women who paved the road for me. Mm -hmm. Dolly, Loretta, Tammy, Barbara Mandrell. Very important. They had a lot of big old chug holes, potholes that they had to go around, and they kind of had them paved over before we got there. Nice okay. of them to do that. Nice of them to do that, yes, mm. ma'am. You grew up in a, on a ranch in Oklahoma. What was that like? It was good, the only thing I knew. It was an 8,000 acre ranch, uh -huh. and uh, I was one of the four hired hands. And Daddy said that the music business took three of his hired hands away. <laughs> so that's my brother and sister and brother and sisters, uh, Alice, Susie, and Paik. And we're really tight. We're a very yes. tight family. Do they sing as well? Alice, uh, Alice didn't as much. She was a rodeo cowgirl. Paik and Susie and I were the singing McIntyres. Singing McIntyre. That yep. sound like singing right there alone. <laughs> oh, did y'all ride horses? Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, well, I rode them and I stood on top of you them. You stood on top of them? Yes. <laughs> yep, there I am. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Do you still ride? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> that was a couple of summers ago in Montana at Red Steagall's uh, Roundup. Mm. Yeah, we had just won the team pinning, so I was a little bit of a showboating at that time. Yeah, I, I see. Yeah. And pretty the, horse. That's, you said it's a great horse? It's a pretty horse. It's a beautiful horse. And he was horse. a great horse, too, yeah. I just got on him that day, and we won the team pinning, so he's pretty good for They won. You better be a winner. <laughs> it was fun. Wow. OK, and so your mom was a, a huge part of you starting to sing? Keep Mama was the that. one that taught us kids how to sing oh, because really? Daddy was uh, not only a rancher, but a rodeo cowboy. Mm. So when we would go to rodeos, us four kids would be back in the back doing this and doing this. <laughs> Just before Daddy had had about all of that, you know, that hand comes over the seat and starts pinching, well, Mom would say, OK, let's sing. Yeah. So we would. Didn't have radio in the car and barely had armrests, didn't have any air conditioning. So we passed the time by singing. Mm. Kept us out of trouble. Did you, get a, did you, did you all get your voices from her? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Daddy said we got the volume from him mm. and <laughs> the vocals from Mama. Oh, OK. Yeah. And then you are a mega mentor on The Voice for Blake uh -huh. for his last season. How is that going? Because what's that phone conversation like? Blake is a character, as you know. Yes. You've had to deal with him. <laughs> We're both Oklahomans, both Okies. And so I was one of the first mentors the first year uh -huh. when he was on The Voice. And so since he's leaving, and he'll be sure to tell everybody about that, He's leaving, and so he wanted me to be a mega mentor on his last season, so I... I think that's an amazing yeah. idea. They were really sweet. He's a good guy. You're very popular on TikTok. Well, yes. You I like your videos? A, a couple of little spots that are... Yeah. We, we have fun <laughs> out on the stage. Oh, well, see, now, wait a minute. How'd that get in there? <laughs> My donkeys give me no respect whatsoever. <laughs> Look at that. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think when you hear you're trending? Well, they first had to tell me what that meant. That's how she's looking at me. And then trending means that it's very popular, and we had a lot of fun doing those uh, little short segments. And it kind of gets to where who can outthink who to do what. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> 
I like how you put that. Thank you. I'll never <laughs> be able to say it again. <laughs> And you also found love. Tell us how you found your boyfriend. Well, Rex Lynn, my boyfriend. Isn't he handsome? He is very handsome. Yeah. He's Go. a handsome rascal. We met in 1991 on the, uh, we were both in the movie with uh -huh. Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. And so he, his best friend from sixth grade is Ed Gaylord, and I've known Ed for a long time. So we're, we're all friends. And then in January of 2020, before COVID, I was doing Young Sheldon TV show. Rex was doing Young Sheldon. So was Melissa Peterman, yeah. who played Barbara Jean on The Reba Show. Uh -huh. So Rex texted me, he said, you gonna be in town? I said, yeah. I'm doing... He said, well, let's go to dinner. Well, didn't get to that week. I was out the next week. And he said, how about that dinner? So we all went to dinner, had a good time, went down the street to a wine bar, and they said, well, I understand you've already had dinner, but we do have some good appetizers. I said, what do you have? And they said, well, we have tater tots. I went. <laughs> <laughs> and so Rex said, that's your nickname from here on out. And that's tater tot. That's, and what's his nickname? Sugar tot. <laughs> <laughs> We're the tots. You're the tots. We're the tots. It is. <laughs> We're the tot, sugar and tater. That is adorable. So we've been together ever since. That, I, we love that so much. I do too. <laughs> I do too. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> does he sing? He does sing. He yeah. loves music. He's a huge music fan. Uh -huh. And he'll come up and, and send me songs during COVID. He sent me food. I was in Oklahoma. Mama had just passed away. Mm -hmm. And so I was staying Thank with you. my little sister, Susie. And we were, you know, taking care of all mom and daddy's things. And so every day there was a, a new something coming in. Now, we live in uh, southeastern Oklahoma, Susie does, on the home place. And it takes you a long time to get anywhere. And so here come UPS or Federal Express. Or, and Mark Eaton, my brother-in-law, would stand out on the front porch and said, what's he going to bring today? What's he sending? <laughs> he sent pecan pie, lobster tail, steaks, mm. Perini steaks from South Texas. And boy, it, it, it was a good time. Wow. M McConnell's ice cream, he would send that. My little sister would ration us. We'd just get one little scoop <laughs> per night while we were watching Ozark. Ooh. She was saving it. Well, send him my address so he could send us some. We want a snack too. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.